Hello and welcome to another Unboxing Your Mail videos. Where I apologize non-stop because I haven't unboxed in months. I'm sorry. Fight me. I mean, I'm sorry. So today I have quite a few letters and packages that I am super excited to go through. So bear with me. I'm excited. And the first package we're going to be opening is from Heidi in Colorado. By the way, the settings on my computer are pretty new. I'm trying 4K here, but forgive me. I see an egg. Forgive me if my settings are a little off. All right, and I have the note. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is hilarious. I see Sika and myself, and she doesn't look particularly pleased. All right, let's read the note. This is really cool. So Heidi is a mechanical engineering student. Holy moly, we have a smart little grain over here. And the first... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, the first thing I see is this derpy, squishy... Oh, wow. It is a really good one. It smells like cookies. Why does it smell like cookies? You know what's gonna happen to this dude. It's gonna be unmade over. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stay here. Give me company, buddy. And then we have two other squishies. One in this cute... Why am I dropping everything? One in this little tigery creature. This squishy really feels nice. Is this really from a Dollar Tree? Feels really good. And then we have a brain, I believe. I guess, I guess it's a brain. But it's more like a foam than a squishy. Oh my god, there's so many things in here. Where do I start? We get eight colors of dough paint. Why does it smell so good? Wait, was I one of those kids that they had to make labels for? Do not eat, little Jackie be like. That smells really good. I'm gonna have to test these out. We get nano blocks. I've never tried nano blocks because, wait, is that? No, it's paper craft. I need to try this. Oh, that is cute. So we have different options of landmarks. Oh, that is really cool. We have a bead making kit by Sculpey. I've never really, tr no, did I try ever making beads? I may have tried when I first, first, first started, but I don't remember much of it. All I remember is I sucked at it. Maybe this will help. <laughs> that is interesting and weird at the same time. We have Crayola bathtub finger paints. I've never heard of this before. Could be really fun doing a, a crafting video in the bathtub, obviously in full clothing. Don't, don't, no. That is so weird. Okay, where are you finding these things? So Heidi also found some Crayola nail polish and lip gloss, as well as nail stickers. I haven't seen Crayola things being sold individually like this. So if you have these things around you grains, let me know because I haven't actually seen this before. So I'm excited to try the nail stickers with the nail polish. We also get a Sculpey light clay. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Flexible in thin sheets. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> we also get another squishy, this time a hurt dirt. And what the heck is this? A Crayola fruit snack? Really? By the way, it's a little open. I haven't opened it, but my guess is whoever's up. So this is a real food? Crayola makes food? When was this made? It expires in two years. This has got to be new. Let's try Crayola fruit snacks. So it smells... It smells kind of like, um, I don't know why I'm bringing it. So they kind of look like little fruit jellies. They smell like fruit roll-ups. Let's try. No, no, no. Oh, wow. I didn't think the flavor could get worse, but it does. It's not against you, Heidi. I'm sure you picked it because you knew this is Crayola and me and Crayola are not best friends. So I hope you're laughing at me now. It starts off tasting plasticky and the more you chew it, it just goes sugary and sugary and sugary-er. Let's be fair, let's try a green one. No. How? How do you manage to make a fruit snack taste like plastic and then sugar? Oh my god! Oh, that is so cute! We get a bunch of unicorn stickers. Oh, I love her! <gasps> Chubby unicorn is fabulous! She's gonna go on my laptop. And then we have salty unicorn. And we have this cute little innocent looking one. Oh my god. I think these two would probably be my two favorites. Let me know which one are your two favorites. We have chubby, magical, innocent, and salty. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heidi. I really appreciate it. Next, I have a letter from Danielle. And thank you so much, Danielle, for saying I am like All Might because he is my favorite character ever. And Danielle's friend, Lucy, is also a grain. Thank you for being my Irish grain. And I have to say, this picture definitely makes my day. So cute. Next is a super cute letter from Gabby, who also has a YouTube channel called Gabby Gabriero. And Gabby is almost at 230 subs. And Gabby sent me a bracelet with two of my favorite colors, purple and orange. I love it. There we go. 
I'm stylish. Next is a letter from Elena from Gatineau, which is really close by, well, close by, maybe a couple of hours drive from where, where I live. We're neighbors, we're just neighbors. And Elena mentioned that she is also a green, nine years old, and learning French. Good for you, the more languages, the better. Next is a letter from Andy, and Andy comes from New York. And Andy says that this is the first time that they send a letter to a YouTuber, so it'll also be their first shout out. And especially, Andy loves my salty face. Andy, this is for you. I agree, maybe I should get voted for Guinness World Record for salt your face. I don't know, I'm, I'm just saying it. Thank you so much for sending me a Metro card. I love little trinkets, trinkets from all over the world. This is really cool. I had never seen one before from New York, Brooklyn. Next we have from Jael, also from Quebec, Gatineau, which so many grains around the corner. <gasps> Shall sent a picture of All Might, my favorite character ever, with a little Bulbasaur. I'm in love right now. And Giles said that they love my channel because I say it like it is. And that their favorite character is also All Might from My Hero Academia. So if you haven't watched My Hero yet, after this video, bring your little butt onto Crunchyroll and go watch it. I love All Might so much. And if you want to check out Giles' art, make sure you check out the Instagram over here. Thank you so much for drawing this for me. I'm putting it with my other artwork over there. Next is a letter from Kara from Aberdeen. Where is Aberdeen? And Kara is also saying hello to my sister Sika, but also sent me some really cool choices for Parrot Chooses My Craft Kits. I mean, craft supplies. Clay versus no clay, polymer versus air dry, paint versus crappy watery paint, tools versus toothpick, resin versus no resin, color plus resin versus no color plus resin, detail versus no detail. These are some pretty good choices. Thank you so much, Karen. Big hugs. Next, I have this huge package from Amazon. I'm really hoping that whoever sent this from Amazon at least put their name in there so I can say thank Oh, wow. Oh. Hang on, I see paper in there. You grains are sending me crap kits. That is really fun. But at the same time, I don't want you to waste your money because the whole point is I waste my money and you don't. But let's see, who is this from? Hi, Jackie. I have enjoyed watching your salty crafter reviews from the very start. You're the only YouTuber I tune into regularly. Thank you so much. I'd love it if you tried these kits out on camera. It's from Lucifer. I like the name is kind of cute. L-O-O-C-Y-F-E-R. All right, so let's see what we got. So, oh, so the first one here is called Matto Clay. This looks really interesting because it is an oven bake clay. This looks super interesting. And according to this box, it says 18 easy to follow projects. All right, this is gonna be fun. I wanna try and do something epic with this. What, I need your grains to explain to me. Maybe my brain isn't functioning. What is this? What creature is this? Cricket? I'm so confused. Next we have, oh my God, mini pom-pom pets. I struggled so hard with just the kitty one. So I'm really hoping this one is going to be easier to use. I hope. When it comes to scholastic kits, it's either a hit or miss. So sometimes they have it good, other times it's questionable. So I'm hoping this one will be good because they're absolutely adorable. I mean, look at all these creatures. They are so cute. Look at the walrus. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Lucifer. I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. Next is a letter from Cece. I know Cece. All right, so firstly, I am so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but I believe this says Mary or maybe Marge. I'm sorry. I was never very good at cursive writing. And Cece is eight years old and sent this cool drawing. And it says, craft kits with salty face. It says, I love salt and salt power. And then there's a coloring page that I get to color myself and some really cute stickers. Thank you so much for sending me a letter. I love hearing from all my grains, whether they're little grains or grains like me. Next is a letter from Alicia McGinley and Alicia's letter is extremely supportive. Thank you so much for understanding my leave from school this year. And I do agree 100% that it's important that we take times for ourselves. Time? Time. Time for ourselves. Thank Thank you again, Alicia, for this gorgeous, wonderfully heartfelt letter. It means the world to me. Make it. Okay, I recognize this pattern because when I was a kid in Egypt, a lot of our letters look like this. A lot of our envelopes look like this. So look, I have goosebumps now because this one is from Julia Gatrif, I believe, from the United Arab Emirates. It's funny because us Arabs were like, 
another Arab? They exist? <laughs> Julia is almost 10 years old and has a sister that's studying in Canada. And Julia also has a channel. And I do agree, I am so close to 1 million subscribers on my main channel, so fingers crossed that we get there maybe by January. I don't know, maybe, maybe January is gonna be my good month. Julia, if ever you're in Montreal, let me know. I know you're going to Halifax for your sister's graduation, so if you're ever in Montreal, let me know. Next, I have a postcard from Raquel, who is one of my patrons on the Discord channel, and Raquel went swimming with sea turtles. Look at me, I am very jelly, cause I love sea turtles. But I don't know if I can swim with turtles, cause I have a pretty bad phobia on being in the ocean with creatures. Next I have this parcel from Cami, and Cami is from New York. And ooh, ooh, it feels like a canvas in here. And oh my god, oh, <laughs> oh wait, 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 squishy, please, squishy. Okay, let's be delicate. Squishy, please don't have stuck on this. I'm being very gentle. Oh my god, that is so cool, look at that. We have a saltiness intensifies canvas. This is epic. Holy moly, Cami! This is so cool! This is gonna go up on my wall in my room. This is insane! This is cute. It says, you have found a small pup. Subscribe to Nerdy Grafter for good luck. Holy moly, Cami! I love this so much. Thank you, you grains are so talented. Hang on, is there a letter in here? I found the letter. But also, we have a kitty, Squishy, that almost gave me a heart attack because I thought it was going to have ruined the painting. It says, repair me. Pretty sure repairing is for Mariah Elizabeth. I do the destructions. <laughs> Cammy has been a long time subscriber and finds me funny. I don't sometimes I could be funny, but that's usually by accident. And they are studying graphic design. That is really cool. I wish I had known more of the artsy things when I was younger. I just, just kind of fell into it because I needed something to make me feel good. And I do agree that even though we're not necessarily the best at what we do, as long as we try and have fun, that everything just follows when you have fun. And Cammy, I do agree, everyone does need a cat burger in their life. But if I destroy this, it's not gonna be a cat burger no more. Thank you so much for adding a cute little drawing. And yes, I will definitely check you out on Twitter. Ooh, this is exciting. This is another letter from an elementary school. That is really cool. Okay, I know exactly where this is going and I really hope I can send it back because there is a self-addressed envelope and envelope over here. So let us see. Hopefully I'm not too late for this one. When was this sent? Jackie, how late are you? <gasps> it's sent on September 2019. We're not that late. We can make it. So for those of you who don't know, this is a program from this elementary school, which I think is pretty cool, that students get to write to their favorite YouTuber or any other person that they think is a public figure. I'm, I'm just a great. I don't know why you choose me because I'm just the person. And Ashley is really into art materials and they really enjoy it. And they found me through Mariah Elizabeth and Delightful, so I am happy that you are a green now. So I'm definitely going to write back and say hello because of the self-addressed envelope. Sorry for those of you who were like, okay, I'm just gonna send a self-addressed envelope. I am so sorry. I can't do that all the time as much as I wish I could, but once in a while when something like this does happen, ha happen to happen? Wow, English. I try as best as I can if I catch it within the same year. Next is a letter from Ashley who who sent me this really cool de-salt card. In case ever Salty Crafter gets just a little too salty, I can be like, nay, you shall not salt. So thank you so much, Ashley, for this wonderful letter. I hope that you do see it. And as always, I keep all of my trinkets from you brains in a very precious box. We are nearing the end. We have one more envelope and one more package to go through today. But trust me, I have quite a bit more packages. For those of you who are waiting for me to open your packages, I am so sorry, I will get to them ASAP. And next from Nathan and Natalie, I have quite a few adorable drawings. This one is my fruit dragon. Salty crafter being salty. Another one of my salt, fruit, salt. Wow, I was about to say salt, I should make a salt dragon. My fruit dragon saying, hello, tell me good. We have super salty crafter over here. And this looks like my pouring hat. Not my Bulbasaur hat, but my pouring hat. And then we have a really cute picture. I wonder if this is done with gouache paint. 
colors are really pretty. And another one here with absolutely gorgeous colors. And this one says la la la. Well, la la. I just added a third la because you need to, you need a third la. La la la. Thank you so much for these drawings. They're going to be precious to me. This package is from A Gambles. It says two pieces of doll clothing. That is really interesting. Oh, ooh, that is pretty. I see a little drawing on the inside flap of this box. It says, caution, you may want to open on camera. Your choice though. I am opening everything on camera. You grains spent all this time making stuff for me and sending it to me. The least I could do is open stuff on camera. All right, what do we have here? Oh, um, gosh. Okay, I found the letter. I'll get back to you grains. Okay, this is hilarious. So there's a little prayer to the postal gods, which says, please protect this gift from bent paper, broken plastic, and other various damages. And also, stop throwing my stuff. <coughs> Oh, the salt don't come out. Let's go through this before I open it because it says doll clothing, but this looks like it's probably a doll. So this package is from Serena Dolls. And Serena Dolls sent this doll over because of the video that I made about leaving teaching for the next year to focus on my health and family. And it's not a custom doll, but it is a doll that she felt would actually help me just overall feel better. And I'm already feeling... <sighs> The fact that Ukraine spent so much time on something and I have the privilege of having it as part of my life is insane. I, I can't, I just can't understand how lucky I am to have you. With that said, I'm gonna be gentle, I promise. Ooh, accessories. Okay, so we have some accessories here. Oh my gosh. So this is Serena Doll's first ever doll customization. And I really hope that my first doll customization is going to be as pretty. These colors make me so happy. I absolutely love color combinations and how the accessories are super colorful. I really do hope that I can do a good paint job with the face because usually I'm pretty bad at doing human faces. So I'll definitely be using different different guides from the different dolls that I've received from Ukraine's as a guide. So I'm gonna put them aside, try to get it there. Thank you so much, Serena Doll, for sending this to me. Those colors really do make me happy. So if your goal was to put me in a better mood, you've succeeded one bajillion percent. So that is all I'm going to be opening today. I still have quite a bit of packages. Be patient with me. We're gonna get there eventually. Don't forget, there's also going to be Vlogmas, which means that there's going to be a video on this channel every day from the 1st of December up until the 24th. So get ready for that. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.